with the small rail, there were always limitations. And what SEAL was able to do was not separate the small rail from their circular device, but actually make their circular device and their small rail of similar components. We have a system that allows you to first think best anatomic position, best place to stabilize, and best place to correct your deformity before you have to be hindered by, can I connect this to my small rail? That was the sins of the past. The new design and the ease of use of this small rail fixator has taken that worry out because those small bones in the foot lead to very difficult wire position when you're limited by a car that needs to have parallel pins like we were trapped with in the past. Companies have, in the past, really focused on the adaptability of their small rail. The big setback has been that we looked at circular multi-planar external fixation as a standard because of the accessibility to all anatomy and the stability with multiple forms of fixation in places where we could gain optimal stability in the optimal portion of that anatomy. I need a device that can have the optimal stability, can go on quickly, that I as a surgeon know and trust that I can get this on my patient, have the safest amount of anesthesia time, which is the least amount of time, and give them the best result. One of the things that I've seen over the past three years using this product is that this product has the most user-friendly components, and it's something where there is no limitation to speak to one of the representatives from SEAL and they're going to show you how this frame can overcome the perceived limitation because really that's, that's all we have now is perceived limitations when it comes to external fixation and this device.